happened here? Everything is broken! Alas, the loftier the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. Master, we're the only servants left. Are you sure about this? After we're gone, who's going to... Don't worry. I'll be fine. Your mother died early, and now that your father has left you, you're all that remains of this clan now. I suppose that this is the last time we will ever see each other. Master... Please take care of yourself. Everyone, on board! Farewell. The Kaidahara clan has ultimately disbanded in my hands. But as my father said, I should not let life imprison me. Perhaps living the wanderer's life is what was meant for me after all. You know, they say that visions represent the Archon's gaze. Hmm... But is being under an Archon's gaze really a blessing? I don't know. Maybe? I have traveled far and wide in Inazuma since leaving home, and seen many new things along the way. Visions now! This way! Hurry! Adventure time! very well why people resist against the Vision Hunt Decree. Ambition is our power in its rawest form. We cannot live without it.
Use your time. When no other option remains, I will leave. The Almighty Shogun is holding a duel before the throne. Unauthorized personnel are strictly forbidden from coming here. Wait, the kid has a vision? Get him! Don't let him get away! Draw. Life of a wanderer is full of hardships. I have asked myself these questions many times. Should I go? If so, where to? And by what means? I will have order. Illusion shattered. Order guide you.
Kaidahara. That's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But... why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiro... Uh, <clears throat> an anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. My grandfather once traveled to Liyue. You know, my father read about Mondstadt, but where is the right place for me? The sky's getting dark. It looks like it's going to rain. Stop! I'm warning you, do not attempt to resist! Will the rain ever stop? <laughs> oh, really? Okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> you could call us that. So, you coming or not? <sighs> Off we go! Adventure time! over there. Kazuha! We found you! Ah, good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? Old things often carry around some form of regret. The Kaidahara clan is no exception. But that's okay. Partings produce reunions. If not at home, then in a distant land. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that! <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage... is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. 
It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized that deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. Perhaps this is what it really means to keep Kaidahara traditions alive. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way. And I intend to go further still. I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help! Maybe we should too! <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but, uh... Her Highness looks kinda gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it, too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow, that's such a nice you might not be a chef, Shinyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy! Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shinyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha. <laughs> we sure do. Hmm. Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else too? I agree. But I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait, you actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck, any mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. 
You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism! Xinyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler! Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there! <laughs> Let's go pick some! houses today, huh? And, uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My sky glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <sighs> seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you are incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius astrologist Mona! Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you is great. Except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again. Ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh. I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, Traveler. Nice. Yeah, that's why you couldn't see that the sun's in your eyes! I trust you slept well. 
sounds like the same story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked some fruits for our breakfast. And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally dig in! Huh? Fisher left? First thing in the morning? Yeah, she seemed unwilling to stay with us. She said she had some other work to do for the Adventurer's Guild. A likely story. What happened to coming here to restore the glory of the Immernachtreich? Now she has guild work to do all of a sudden? Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before, but she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurer's Guild and can't go with her. She didn't even make up some excuse about the Immernachtreich to get some time alone? Huh. That's out of character for her. Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend, but she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Yep. Votes are in. It's unanimous. Oh, yeah, about that. Paimon went ahead and voted for you. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Paimon knew you'd want to go exploring. Fischl said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry. She'll catch up with us when she's done. Despite her quirks, she's still an experienced adventurer. I think we should trust her. I haven't known her for long, so this is just an observation, but it seems like she's struggling with some internal conflict. Hmm. That seems about right. In conflict with others, you either resolve it or let it be. But when the conflict is within yourself, it's much harder to do either. I've also had a time like that in my life, so I understand what she's going through. It may be best to give her some space. I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. Xinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a mirage on the island in the north. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast, Traveler.